Hi, welcome to our channel again. Today again we would like to talk about one of the most common questions. Uh, which is, uh, what is online therapy? Should I be considering online therapy? Uh, is it effective? Uh, because of the current situation in the world, of course, everybody uh, feels a lot more isolated because we have spent quite some time uh, in our houses alone uh, and it was uh, very, still is uh, very stressful times. We ourselves, psychologists, also uh, try to continue to work from home, uh, which also uh, pushed us a little bit uh, to learn how to do online psychology, uh, online therapy, and uh, how we can succeed about it. So we learned a lot. I can say, uh, on my, for my experience, I learned uh, a lot uh, in the current situation. Maybe it is one of the positives about uh, what is happening around us. So what is online therapy? There are a couple of uh, uh, styles of uh, doing online therapy. Of course, uh, one uh, and uh, I can say the most effective, the most common one is uh, by using the internet and with some of the programs, doing it uh, face to face. Uh, in my opinion, also, this is the best way. I usually also prefer uh, in my practice uh, this face to face. Uh, because uh, I think it, this is the most similar to what we are actually doing in our practice. So that is one, uh, one type. The second type is uh, telephone counseling, uh, which we have been already using for many, many years, uh, especially uh, in Australia, uh, because it is uh, quite a big country and because uh, I also provide culturally competent psychology. Uh, some clients specifically uh, wanted to speak with us, so we have been providing telephone counseling all over Australia quite uh, some time. Uh, so it is not necessarily new to us, but maybe to some uh, clients because uh, they were using face-to-face -face counseling before by going physically going to the practice. Uh, that is also one of the effective ways, and it is a nice way. It, it is preferable. Another one is uh, online chat. That is also when uh, the therapist and the uh, client uh, were both online and they are chatting uh, with some of the programs uh, from internet. That is also most of the some of the websites, especially in Australia, provides that. Uh, that's also another one. And uh, SMS messaging. That's also another um, style. Uh, I usually don't prefer this one because uh, in my personal opinion, uh, I am not finding it necessarily uh, too effective. It is effective, uh, but uh, especially when we would like to uh, uh, know the client for the first time, I think it is more beneficial uh, to talk with the client face to face to be able to understand uh, better. Uh, okay, so what is the pros and cons about online therapy? When we look at that, uh, there are of course uh, lots of positive sides uh, about online therapy. First of all, you don't need to go anywhere, so it saves a lot of time. That's perfect. Uh, another thing is um, you can just, uh, you have hundreds, thousands of choices from the websites. Uh, there are many, many therapists. Uh, many many websites you can go you can check you can learn the background of the therapist and then find out uh, uh, decide on uh, which one is the most suitable for you so that's also another one uh, another good thing uh, what else uh, we can also uh, you can also uh, when you want to talk to someone uh, there is not necessarily a distance problem. You can talk with anyone. I can talk with someone from America, Canada, Australia, Vietnam, Brazil, doesn't matter. As soon as we both have uh, internet, we can talk from anywhere. That also helps me especially a lot uh, because uh, I have many clients, uh, especially expats living all over the world. Uh, and yeah, it is really nice to connect with these people. Uh, so I can say it was very exciting times for me. What else? Uh, this is also the biggest uh, positive, uh, especially for the psychologists. We didn't, maybe I wasn't uh, necessarily very much aware of that situation, but it really helped us online therapy uh, 
uh, for some people to open up actually. Uh, there was a specific type uh, clientele, I can say, uh, we probably would have never seen in our practice. But because thanks to online psychology, uh, they decide to see a psychologist and uh, basically, probably, they feel more confident, they feel more safer in their uh, home environment and uh, they, uh, they can open up. Uh, so, online therapy uh, helped us see this clientele as, as well. Uh, we had the chance to explore with them and I am really grateful uh, to online therapy uh, for that. That is really nice. So, if you are kind of, uh, maybe that's not the right uh, word, but kind of a little bit uh, reserved and uh, you don't necessarily want to go to the therapist, you have doubts, it is just much easier uh, to do it online and we are seeing more and more of these people which is great. What else uh, is nice? There is no uh, hour uh, restriction. So let's say if you are in America and you would like to see from USA, you would like to see a therapist and uh, usually therapists we work 9 to 5. But uh, thanks to online therapy, you can see after hours because uh, where I am, maybe it is a different uh, time zone. So it helps us a lot. Uh, you can see after hours, you can see on the weekends, uh, you can also uh, talk in the middle of the night sometimes. So we can say uh, it is very beneficial uh, uh, according to uh, hours. What else? We can say, I think that's about it, about the positives when I look at my notes. And uh, what about uh, not so nice things? Uh, not so nice things, uh, there is not necessarily very much negatives about online psychology. But we can say, um, first of all, a therapist might ask you some questions. Uh, they usually don't ask you when you go to the uh, therapy room. Uh, for example, when you come to our therapy room, what we do, we usually go outside and say, hi, welcome, uh, let's go to my room. So we could be able to see you in full, but on the camera, we can only see this part. So we might ask you uh, to stand up and to see your whole body. We, and we can ask you to show us around the room. Uh, we can ask you if you're alone, if you're in a safe place to talk. And more, uh, the most importantly, we will definitely going to ask you uh, where you are uh, immediately, which country, which city, even maybe which suburb. Uh, it is really important for us to know these uh, things uh, for your safety. So uh, for these reasons, maybe these questions might, uh, you might think in the beginning, why is she asking? But it is very important for us because uh, our duty, one of our duties is to make sure that our clients are safe. So those type of questions might be a little bit uh, getting used to probably. Another uh, thing is, uh, unfortunately, uh, sometimes internet connection uh, can be cut and that is really not nice. I can say I have experienced couple. Uh, when you're talking in a really, you know, intense, uh, sensitive issue, sometimes in the middle of it, uh, internet can be cut. Uh, from either sides and then it can be a little bit stressful and you know uh, not necessarily nice uh, but then uh, you can reconnect again uh, and uh, let's not forget it can also happen in the therapy room when we are in the therapy room sometimes somebody's telephone uh, ringing or sometimes they knock the door or sometimes your time is up so <laughs> it can also happen in the therapy room uh, so yeah, that's about it about online therapy. If you have any questions, please uh, comment below. So we would like to answer uh, your questions uh, in our future videos. And thank you very much for listening to us. Good day.